If it eats an animal, it's right up here in the food web. This is the sad part of the food web. But look at it this way, Koki. It's how nature works. I mean, if these predators weren't around, in no time, there'd be too many of these herbivores. Soon, there'd be no plants left. And no one would survive. Everything's in balance. I guess that's why the food web works so well, but it's still sad. Ow! No, <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> oh. Okay, Blur, check this out. I'm injured. Oh, oh, my leg. I can't run fast anymore. I hope a predator doesn't see me. Yes, my trick is working. Predators usually target injured or weak prey. They're the easiest to catch. Ow, I'm so injured. Huh? Uh-oh, it worked, but on a different predator. A python's got a hug on me. Pythons are constricting snakes. That means they squeeze their prey until they can't breathe anymore. This wasn't exactly the plan, but I'll take it. Could you please press that button for me? It's the one! Ow. Woo. Yes! I'm a python! Wait a second. No animal eats adult pythons. I'm at the top of the food web. Woohoo! Not so fast, Chris. We're checking something. What? Yep, it's right here. It almost never happens, but big adult pythons are sometimes caught and eaten by a super hungry lion or leopard. You mean kind of like that? Whoa, you gotta be pretty hungry to tangle with a python. Whoa, not this time. Catching food can be dangerous business for predators too. Prey defends itself and getting a meal isn't always easy. So it's official. It's rare, but leopards and lions will tangle with an adult python if they're desperate. Wow, I better slither off and follow that lion. Gotta slide. See ya, Blur. Okay, I know a lion would eat a bad eared fox and you probably have to be on the lookout for spotted hyenas too. Hey, if I could just find one of those. <laughs> I know you probably don't want to find out, but I have to finish my food chain. Huh? <gasps> Marshall Eagle! Whoo, nice move! The old roll on your back, kick and bite defense? Ha, a battered fox classic. Hey, it's not easy being an animal when things are constantly out to get you. Guinea fell in one leap? That cat has some quick paws, too. Ooh, a cheetah wants in on the action. Hey, that's cheating. Cheetahs rarely steal food, but competition is fierce out here between the wild cats. This isn't cheating. It's cheetah-ing. Wait. Oh, no. We lost her again. <laughs> At least we got a fast ride home. Race ya. Activate Cheetah Power! First one to the Tortuga wins! I'll be waiting for you! Oh no! Whoa! What are you guys doing? Aviva said, get here fast. But not like a destructive meteor. <laughs> Sorry. I won, though. <laughs> no way. I had you by a whisker. Any luck finding my birdie? No, not yet. But that's why we need a birdmobile to lure in that crafty caracal. It's finished. The Gimme Fowl Flapper. It's perfect. Don't worry, Aviva. We'll get your birdie back. That's what you said last time. But now, we have a bird mobile. That birdie is really, really important to me. Please. We'll find it. Come 
Continue mission, bring back badminton birdie. Let's go, guinea fowl flapper. Nice flying action, Chris. Thanks, bro. But how long are we gonna have to do this? How about another guinea fowl alarm? Nice, would've fooled me. Uh-oh, it got a spotted eagle owl's attention. Evasive maneuvers! Nice turn, Martin, but don't accidentally get away from the caracal. Don't think I could. Look! Hello, hang time. It worked! <laughs> Our plan worked! <laughs> this is a hard what? Aardvark. It's an aardvark. Got it. Aardvark. Never heard of it. Even though they're nicknamed earth pigs, aardvarks are actually more closely related to elephants. Yeah, but they're really one of a kind, with claws as strong as a pickaxe. I never knew fingernails could build a house. She's got beautiful fingernails, and so thick they don't break. Guys, get ready to have the most gorgeous fingernails around. Gorgeous nails? Don't you mean digging power? Yeah, that's what I said. Gorgeous nails. I'm getting to work adding that power digger to the creature power suit. Zap out! <gasps> Uh-oh. Did you hear that laughing sound? Yeah, I like laughing, but not that kind. <laughs> nope, nothing funny about that. <laughs> Spotted hyena! Uh-oh. Hyenas are serious predators for lots of creatures out here, including aardvarks. <gasps> she can't get back to her burrow, so it's plan B. Dig an escape hole. Aardvarks can do that in five minutes flat. Oh yeah, good thing she had a head start. Oh no, it's not deep enough yet. She's gotta buy herself time. Those claws are good for something other than digging. The slash defense. The hyena didn't like that one bit. Yes, she did it. Now I know why holes are so important out here. Whoa! This backpack's a lot heavier when I'm running from a hyena. <sighs> Woo! That was a close one. Yeah, especially since my backpack almost knocked me over. Did you slip some of your stuff in there when I wasn't looking? No. Then why did it feel like it was full of bricks? You didn't put your fossil collection in there, did you? Uh-uh, I don't even have a fossil collection. You do. Uh, Martin, I think there's a snake on my face. Oh yeah, there sure is. Hmm, now which pink snakes do I know? Blind pink snakes? No, but they're from Madagascar, so it can't be one of those. Yeah, while we're talking, you think you can get it off me? Ah, <laughs> it's you! Oh, that is one long Slurpee tongue. I'm gonna call you Slurpee. Hey, Slurpee. Hmm, how did an ordinary hair become a quill? Let's see how this works. Wow, the quill has a light spongy inside and the outside is hard and thick. And it's attached to the skin just like a hair is. You made him raise his quills. I get it. Every porcupine quill has a muscle attached to it that raises the quill when the porcupine gets nervous. If the quill is touched even lightly by, say, a lion, it can easily rip free and gets pulled right out. Thanks, Quilver. Huh? Won't be long now, guys. Porcupine power discs on the way! Good, because we've got some floating animals to rescue. Rocket boots ready to go. Guys! Uh, uh. 
All right, Quilber, my pointy little pal. Give us that porcupine defense power! Activate! All set, flying porcupine bros. Oh, oh, whoa, watch where you're swinging those quills. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. Ah! To, to the, the creature, creature rescue! rescue! Zack, you can't take all these creatures and turn them into your robots. Yeah, and they don't like being in the sky. They want to go home. Oh, no, you don't, wild rats. It's wild rats. Whatever. I'll do whatever I want. And guess what? My Zackbots are recharged. Go! Uh-oh. Gotta get to those creatures fast! I'll cover you. Back off, Zackbots. We porcupines don't like to use our quills, but if we have to... All right, I warned you. Whoa! Lost a few quills in that defense. Chris had better hurry. Hey, Maze, don't worry. You're going home. Thanks to porcupine power. Enjoy the ride, pal. Coming at you guys. Okay, Chris, no problem. We're on it. Ah, gotcha, Maze. Mayday! Mayday! I've been hit! I'm going down! Chris needs help! All right, we've got to help him. But we can't show up around Gorman with a truck full of raptors. First, we'll let all the African raptors go. Marshall Eagles, away! So long, spotted owls! Be free, chanting goshawks! Fly away home, Falcon. <laughs> Not so fast, Aviva. I need to borrow a little speed from this falcon first. Activate Peregrine Falcon Power! So I can zip back and rescue my bro. Sounds good, Martin. We'll get the rest of these non-African raptors back to the Tortuga safe and sound. All right, Chris. Get ready for a raptor rescue. So fly, boy. Can't move so fast now, can you? That was just a lucky shot, Gourmand. Well, one thing I know about birds, they can't fly right unless their feathers are just so. And I'm not talking about so muddy. <laughs> It'll take you forever to clean off your creature power suit. And by that time, I will have surprised your blue brother and the rest of your friends. And I will recapture my raptors. Yup! I can't even find my creature pod to warn them. All right, buddy. Thanks for the escort. But you better get far away from here now. Because knowing Gourmand, he could be hiding behind any one of these clouds. Now to get an eagle eye on the situation, because all raptors have awesome eyesight. Engage Falcon Vision. Bro, is now really the best time for a mud bath? Oh no, he's stuck. And he's no falcon. He's a sitting duck. Ew. Okay, a falcon has 450 feathers, so it takes me an hour to clean each one. Then I'll be here until... Next Tuesday? <gasps> nice kitty. I've got to get there, and fast. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rocketing from the sky is maybe the most awesome raptor power, but it's nothing without talon feet that grab. Save, bro! Let's do this. <laughs> Miniaturized and standing by. Okay, it's done. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Delivering secret disguise? <laughs> Go, go, 
go, go, go. Oh, whoa. Huh? Look at those huge scoopfuls of sand she grabs with her hind feet. We better hustle, Chris. Whoa, now this is an impressive face. I'll call her Crocodilla. Oh, check out those teeth. 64 dagger teeth. Twice as many as we have. Oh, it's a good thing we just look like a couple of crocodile eggs. See? You don't trust her either. Just don't awaken the beast, guys. Ugh. I don't even think she sees us. She's in that special trance that crocodiles get into when they lay their eggs. The trance. She's in step two. Egg laying. Let's go! Uh, what, what? Did I crack? No, you're good. 56, 57, 57 eggs. <gasps> one by one, she lays her eggs in the nest chamber. Whew, if all these hatch, there'll be lots of little Nile crocodiles running around here in about three months. Whoa! She's burying them. Are you kidding me? She just drops her eggs in a hole and covers them up? I told you guys, that is one cold creature. We'll see. Let's get in there, Martin. What? Get in where? Where else? The nest. We're crocodile eggs. Those are our pals down there, Aviva. Besides, how else are we going to find out the secrets of crocodile birth? Let's get cracking, Martin. <laughs> Guys, wait. We're losing you. I'll have to make some adjustments to the signal receiver. Whoa, she's stomping the sand. Looks like she's packing them in. I knew this was a bad idea. Never trust a crocodile. I'm getting a signal again. Yo there, guys, we're fine. The eggs have landed. She's done. We, we did, did it! it. <laughs> we're in, in a crocodile, crocodile nest. <laughs> Where's Hipster? There! What's he doing? The disc! Hipster found the disc! Oh, yeah! Let's go! Oh, no! He's heading back! Mayday! 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 Whoa! <laughs> with this slimy rock. Hey, you're not a rock. You're a hippo. So that means this is not slime. It's natural hippo sunscreen. <laughs> Thanks, bud. I wish our skin made a natural sunscreen like yours does. Whoa! Ugh. Gotta go. Gotta keep my eye on Tusker. If he finds that hippo sub in this river, there could be trouble. <gasps> and there's the trouble. Martin, Aviva, come in! That's it. Try to get past that big beastie varmint. Oh, and we may just be too busy to help if they get in a jam. <laughs> Follow that hippo! Oh, right. He's going up for air. Now's our chance. Okay. Hold on tight, we're going in. It's Tusker. He's back. And he's taking on a challenger who wants to take over his part of the river. Between these two, we have to try. Ow! Those tusks are like massive swords jabbing at each other. It's like two sumo wrestlers in a sword fight. Are you guys getting out of there? I'm working on it, dude. I'm even we got to retreat. Not until we get the disc. Oh. That's the point. Ah! No, that's the 
protect their part of the river. Now look, there must be some kind of mistake. We're getting carried off by termites. I'd say there's a mistake, all right? Uh, hey, easy on the jaw grip there, termite. I know karate. hi -ya! Ow! Termite jaws are tough and strong. Koki, they're collecting grass. And we smell like grass. So they think we're just another blade of grass. Of course they do. Wait, don't they eat grass? It's Jimmy! 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 I think he hears us. His music's too loud. Jimmy! Jimmy! We're down we're here! We're down here! We're King Kong termites! Help! Oh, yeah. More smells in the house. Okay. Aviva? Anyone? They're gone? Hey! Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. Whoa! Sorry, Jay-Z! They're gone! Huh? Aviva and Koki? Are you sure? They always tell me when they're leaving. They know I panic. <gasps> Look at this. Someone spilled something. <laughs> Savannah grass. The whole canister got knocked over, which knocked down the miniaturizer, and judging by the angle it's on, the beam was pointing right to... the puddle. <gasps> Footprints. Koki and Aviva. It gets worse. Look. Termite prints. What? Aha! Termites. Mystery solved. What? What? What solved? Don't you see, Jay-Z? They dropped the grass end on themselves, accidentally got miniaturized, and termites carried them off. Voila! Yeah, I knew that. What? We gotta find them. But there are millions of termites all over the African savanna, more than all the mammals combined. And lots of creatures eat termites. Now, they're with the armies of termites heading right into the middle of a predator-prey battle zone. Oh, we gotta find them fast! We'll need some creature power help for this creature rescue. Let's split up. I'll use the power of the termites to infiltrate the colonies and search for them there. And I'll use the powers of termite predators to hunt down as many termites as I can. And I'll just freak out. <sighs> Wait! Termites! Activate termite power!